Okay, uh, in the last lectures we have discussed some of the applications of the operational amplifiers. Okay. So, in the coming uh, two three lectures we will discuss uh, some of the numerical examples or practicing problems. So, the first uh, problem is like this. So, design operational amplifier circuit. which produces the output E 0 given by Basically, this operation amplifier can be used to uh, realize the various mathematical equations. Okay. So, here we have to implement V0 is equal to minus of 0 0.1 times V1 plus V2 plus 10 times V3. We have 3 inputs, one output V0. So, basically, this is uh, a inverting amplifier you have to design with a gain of 0.1 for uh, signal V1. a gain of unity for signal V 2, gain of 10 for signal V 3. So, we know the inverting amplifier, but here we have to take 3 inputs. The standard uh, inverting amplifier with single input is this positive terminal you have to ground. Basically, here we are going to apply input and there will be some feedback resistance. This is the standard inverting amplifier with single input. Now, we have to use 3 inputs. So, you can connect 3 inputs here with 3 different input resistances. Let this is V1, this is V2, this is V3. This is let RF, this is R1, R2, R3. So, the output voltage due to only V1 will be what? alone. So, you have to set V 2, V 3 to 0. So, that the equivalent circuit will be simply a standard inverting amplifier In fact, these two resistances which are going to be grounded here So, this two will be because V 2 is equal to V 3 is equal to 0, this will be grounded. This is V 1, this is R 1, this is R F. Let us call this output as V 0 1 due to signal source 1 only. Now, because this is ground, this is also a ground potential. So, this is R 2, R 3. So, this is for R 2 both these sides are ground, R 3 also both these sides are ground. So, we can remove this. This circuit will be removed. This is the equivalent circuit whose standard uh, expression for the output is minus R f by R 1 times V 1. But in the given expression V naught, is equal to minus 0 0.1 times V 1 plus minus V 2 minus 10 times V 3. 
So, comparing this V1 coefficient should be minus 0.1. So, minus Rf. by R 1 should be 0 0.1. You have to choose the values of R f and R 1 such that the ratio is 0.1, this minus minus will get cancelled. Okay. Implies R f should be equal to 0 0.1 times R 1, this is one expression. Similarly, if you find out uh, the equivalent circuit due to only V2, we will get the expression as V02 is equal to minus Rf by R2 times V2. You can do it in a similar manner, this is exactly similar to this procedure. Similarly, V03 will be minus Rf by R2 times V3. So, what is V0? V0 is equal to minus Rf by R1 times V1 minus Rf by R2 times V2 minus Rf by R3 times V3. If we compare this and this expression, one is this one because this minus Rf by R1 should be equal to minus 1 from this we are going to derive this. Similarly, if I take the second expression minus R f by R 2 should be equal to minus 1 implies R f should be equal to R 2. See the second expression. And if I compare this coefficient of R3, this is minus 10 is equal to minus Rf by R3. Implies Rf is equal to 10 times R3. From equation 1, 2 and 3, you have to choose the values of R1, R2, R3 and Rf, which satisfies the expressions 1, 2, 3. So, let R f is equal to 10 kilo ohms, we have to choose uh, one value, then we can find out that R 1 will be equal to now R f by 0 0.1 into 10 from this one R 1 is equal to R f by 0 0.1 or 10 times R f. 1 by 0.1 is 10. So, this is equal to 100 kilo ohms. And uh, what about R2? R2 is simply Rf, this is equal to Rf 10 kilo ohms. And uh, what about R3? From this Rf by 0 0.1, this is equal to 10. So, this is equal to 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So, if I set this R 1 to 100 kilo ohms, then R 2 to 10 kilo ohms and this to 1 kilo ohm and this R f is set to 10 kilo ohms we will get the output expression V naught as this expression. This is how you can uh, implement any mathematical expression which consists of uh, the multipliers and uh, additions or subtractions using operational amplifier. I okay. will take the another example. Suppose, you will be given a order uh, subtractor circuit, you have to find out the output voltage. determine the output voltage of the following circuit.
there are four inputs say this is 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts and there says 10 kilo ohms, 20 kilo ohm, 30 kilo ohms, 40 kilo ohms and there are say 50 kilo ohms and 50 kilo ohms. So, what is the value of the output voltage V0? There are two inputs at the inverting terminal, two inputs at the non inverting terminal. So, the solution is output due to input set non inverting terminal. If I call this one as V1, V2, V3, V4, that is output due to only V3 and V4. Then V1, V2 have to set to 0. Then what will be the equivalent circuit? This two will be grounded. This is ten kilo ohms. 20 kilo ohms, and these two will be this is 4 volts, 5 volts, 4 volts. Let us call this one as V0 plus due to plus uh, input set the non inverting terminal this RF is 50 kilo ohms. So, these two are in parallel. So, what will be a parallel combination of 10 into 20 10 kilo ohms in parallel with 20 kilo ohms is equal to 10 into 20 by 10 plus 20 30 is equal to 20 by 3. So, you can replace this with single resistor with resistance of 20 by 3 kilo ohms. Now, this is 4 volts, this is 5 volts plus V 3 V 4 and this is 30 kilo ohms, this is 40 kilo ohms. So, if I call this voltage as say V1, that is V1 if I know V1, then the remaining circuit is only if I forget about this part, then this is non inverting amplifier with a gain of 1 plus feedback resistance by input resistance. Okay. But what is V1? V1 is actually due to two voltages one is due to 4 volts, another is due to 5 volts. So, V 1 is given by due to uh, 4 volts. So, this 5 volts will be grounded. So, that this 40 k and 50 k will come in parallel and 30 k. So, if you want to find out output V 1 due to 4 volts L 1. So, what will be the equivalent circuit? Only this circuit I am considering, not the entire circuit. So, this is 4 volts, this is 30 kilo ohms. So, this here these two will be in parallel. This is 5 volts that will be grounded. So, that resistance is 40 kilo ohms and this is 50 kilo ohms. And this is the point where V1 we are taking, but 
this V1 due to 4 volts I will call as V1 dash. So, what is V1 dash in terms of this 4 volts? So, these two will be in parallel this is equivalent to 4 volts 30 kilo ohms and this is here you are taking V1 dash this is grounded this is 50 kilo ohm in parallel with 40 kilo ohms and this is 30 kilo ohm this is 4 volts. So, 50 40 parallel combination is 50 into 40 by 50 plus 40. Two thousand by ninety. This is two hundred by nine kilo ohms. This is thirty kilo ohms, and this is two hundred by nine kilo ohms. This is 30 kilo ohms, this is 4 volts. Therefore, what is this V1 dash? V1 dash is given by V1 that is 4 volts, input voltage is 4 volt, this 4 volts into 200 by 9 divided by total resistance is 30 plus 200 by 9. So, this is equal to 998 cancel, this is 800 divided by, this is 270 plus 200, 470. This is equal to 80 by 47 volts, this is V1 dash. Similarly, if you want to find out the voltage due to only this 5 volts, so, this equivalent resistance is same, this will be now 40 kilo ohms. So, if I call this V1 double dash, this is due to 5 volts. This is given by this 5 volts. Only change is here in, in place of 30 will get 40, remaining thing is same. This is equal to and this 4 becomes 5. 5 into 200 by 9 divided by 40 plus 200 by 9. This is 360 plus 200. 99 get cancelled, 1000 by 360 plus 200, 560, 100 by 56 volts. Therefore, what is V1? This V1, V1 is V1 dash plus V1 double dash that is equal to this 80 by 47 plus 100 by 56. This is approximately this is 2 times almost this is 2, this is also 2 So, I am not giving the exact value approximately 4 volts. You can find out the exact value using calculators. So, you see the voltage here. Now, we can forget about this entire thing. This is V1 now.
this is standard non inverting amplifier. whose gain is V0 plus is equal to V1 times 1 plus Rf by R1 that is 50 by 20 by 3 that is equal to 150 V1 into 150 by 20 1 plus 150 by 20 that is equal to 8.5 V1. Therefore, V0 plus is equal to 8.5 times V1 is approximately 4 volts. Thirty-four volts. This is uh, due to this sources at V3 and V4. Okay. And if you want to find out the output due to V1 and V2. Set V3 is equal to V4 is equal to 0. Then what will be the equivalent circuit? So, these two points will be grounded and this is another 50 kilo ohms. So, this uh, the overall there will be some resistance at the positive terminal which we do not care normally we will be using this for uh, offset compensation. So, this will be because there is no current through this one even if you have resistance that is that can be neglected. So, the equivalent circuit will be just uh, this 2, 3 volts, 10, 20 and 50 ohms. Here there will be some equivalent resistance here, but this will not have any impact. The value of this resistance is in fact this is 30, 40, 50 parallel combination. But normally this will be used to compensate the offset uh, current and all because here the current is 0, there will be no voltage drop. So, this voltage is 0 volt, this is also 0 volts and the remaining circuitry will be this 10 k, 20 k and then feedback resistance 50 k. Then this is standard non inverting amplifier. This is 2 volts, this is 3 volts. Let us call this output as V0 due to the input C inverting terminal. So, we found that V0 plus is approximately 30 volt, 34 volts. So, V0 is in fact V0 plus plus V0 minus. The output due to non inverting terminal inputs, output due to inverting terminal inputs. So, I have to find out now V0 minus. So, if I short these 3 volts, then what will be the equivalent circuit? Output due to 2 volts alone. This is 2 volts, this is 10 k. Here we will get this will be 20 k will be grounded because this 3 volts will be 0. This is 20 k will be grounded, this is 10 k, this is 2 volts, this is 50 kilo ohms and at positive terminal this will be parallel combination of 30 k, 40 k, 50 k. Let us call this one as V0 
वन माइनस द वाट है दिस ट्वेंटी के मेघा दिस इज एट जीरो वोल्ट्स मेघा करेंट इज जीरो वी इज इक्वल टू आर आई इवन दो यू हैव सम रेसिस्टेंस वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज ऑल्सो एट जीरो वोल्ट्स सो दिस ट्वेंटी के इज बिटवीन द टू ग्राउंड दिस इज ऑल्सो जीरो वोल्ट्स वर्चुअली दिस इज ऑल्सो जीरो वोल्ट्स सो बिटवीन टू ग्राउंड ट्वेंटी के इज दैट यू कैन रिमूव So this is standard uh, inverting amplifier whose gain is equal to minus R F by R one minus fifty K by ten K times the input voltage two volts. This is equal to five into two ten volts. Similarly, if I want to find out output due to three volts alone, this will be three volts. This will be twenty kilo ohms. and the 10 kilo ohm path will be grounded so that can be removed because both the uh, terminals of this uh, 10k will be at zero potential only okay so as a result of that what will be v0 2 minus this v0 2 minus is output due to only 3 volts so this 2 volts you have to ground the only difference is minus 50k divided by The resistance along this 3k is 20, 20 kilo ohms. Into the input voltage is 3 volts. This is equal to 7.5 volts, right? This 0, 0k k get cancelled. This is 5 by 2 is 2.5 into 3 is 7.5 volts. So the total V0 minus is equal to the output due to only 2 volts. Output due to only 3 volts. So, which is ten plates seven point five. This is called seventeen point five volts. The output due to the negative terminal inputs, and the output due to the positive terminal inputs is thirty four volts approximately. So, total therefore V zero is equal to thirty four plus seventeen point five. This is approximate value, okay? Approximately fifty-one point five volts. This is how we can find out the output value given the resistances and input voltages. Then the third example. So I'll uh, give the example to find out the current. Okay. Find the load current in the following circuit. This is load. This current equal as I L. This is the output V zero. This is the input V I. Let us assume that all the resistors are equal. R R R R. Let this is V one. Let R is equal to ten kilo ohms. V one is equal to one volt, and here we are going to apply V. This is grounded. V I is equal to five volts. So for these values, what is I L? This is the problem. Actually, this particular circuit is called as voltage to current converter.
V2I converter. Now the input is voltage, output is current will be delivered to the load. Because this is V1, this is also V1. So, what is uh, V0? Simply we can tell this V0, V0 is equal to twice V1. Okay. So, this current if I call this one as I, the same I will flow through this one also. So, from here to here I expression is 0 minus V1 divided by R is equal to this current is 0 from here to here V 1 minus V naught divided by R. So, what is the relation between the V 1 and V naught? Implies minus V 1 is equal to R R get cancelled V 1 minus V naught V naught if we take to this side V 1 to this one V naught is equal to twice V 1 and V 1 is given as 1 volt. So, V naught is equal to 2 volts. Now, coming to this node, we have to find out I L the load current. So, what is I 1? I 1 and I 2 are entering, I L is leaving. So, what is I 1? I 1 is equal to V I minus V 1 this is V i, this is V 1 by R. So, this is equal to V i is given as 5 volts, V 1 is 1 volt. So, 5 minus 1 divided by R is given as 10 kilo ohms. This is equal to 4 milliamps. Then I 2 is V naught minus V 1 divided by R, V naught minus V 1 divided by R. This is equal to V naught just now we have find out 2 volts minus V 1 is 1 volt 10 k. This is equal to 0.1 milliamp. And uh, if I apply the KCL here, I L is leaving, I L is equal to I 1 plus I 2 this is equal to 4 plus 0.1, 4.1 milliamp. So, here you can find out the load current. So, this circuit is called as voltage to current converter. Okay. So, I will discuss some more uh, examples in the next lecture. Thank you.